been such a like a hard thing for me to transition back into that, you know, spending my money and, and, it's, and it's such a hard thing to do because like in Philly, there is no, like we, we have things called food deserts, which means I, like I live in, a, in an area where there is not a, a, a grocery store a mile away from my crib. And that is something that's kind of fucked up. And if, um, you know, and if they put something near us, and besides a poppy store, which people, we, in Philly we call it a poppy store, kind of kind of like really racist, but it's a bodega. Um, we have those all around, but you know they don't sell anything but the worst shit ever. <laughs> and um, they say we're gonna be a new ever. Where everyone lives inside the city and all the hoods are on the outer rim. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing to the city. Like schools like Temple, uh, Drexel, they're good schools, but don't go there, y'all, because they're pushing, they like, you want to be living in a spot that I grew up at. And it's, and, it's, and it's hurtful, because, you know, I, the only reason I have a, you know, a grocery store now is because the college kids from Drexel, and they, 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 get, they keep getting more students, so they want to, like, build their campus a little bit farther into my hood. And it's, and it's like, you know, it's a good thing, but I'm not going to be there for it, so I don't want it. I would complain. She'd be like, oh, you have to get this healthy, organic, all natural nut granola, whatever the hell type cereal. And I'd be like, but I want Fruit Loops. Like, and I never really appreciated that. And like coming here, like it makes me see that there are some people who wish they could eat the way I eat. Like, I want to fucking go to McDonald's and get something like normal people eat. Or what I would think of, you know, because that's like a treat for me. I'm used to eating like salads and organic things so I guess like I now have like a better appreciation for the way that my mother feeds me and it's not like she's rich and can really afford it like I'm sure that what I eat is so much more expensive than what a lot of other people eat but she feeds it to me because she wants like her daughter to grow up healthy and like have all these right. other options so I never really appreciated that but watching that video really helped me I, I definitely I'm gonna go home and be like, Mom, feed me some vegetables. Like, thank you. <laughs> these people who are, who are uh, running these big businesses and like giving us this, this nasty food and everything, their goal is always to get more, get more money, get more possessions, do what they need to do, you know? And if we stop thinking about money that way, stop thinking about trying to get more and maybe like thinking about just making sure everybody has what they need, I think that's kind of the point that we need to get to, you know? Yeah. All right. My dad, like, his whole family we grew up as, like, farmers in Scotland. The way that he got out, his family got out of this kind of cycle of poverty, this cycle of, like, living off, like, trying to get to the next day and so on and so forth, like, is education, right? Is getting to a kind of place where you've got, you, you are kind of respected for what you are as a person rather than what you look like what kind of social and economic group you come from, what kind of, it's like, it's being well spoken, it's being able to kind of like, <coughs> like, assert value of yourself as a person. And the way to do that is education, but at the same time, you guys have got this problem where education costs a shitload of money. So basically they're saying, all right, you gotta go to school, right? You gotta make money somehow, and the only way to make money in this economy is to get a college degree, right? Because that's what we're taught. So then we're raised up until senior year, we get to senior year, we go to college and choose whatever, whatever. We realize that, like, yo, you're going to be more in debt from your college loans than from house loans and credit card loans combined for the rest of your, for the rest of your career, basically, right? So then they say, all right, all right, so y'all got that. So this is your two options. You can either go to college, be in debt, or you might as well just go to the military. You're already in the streets, you're already fighting. Look, you're already playing Call of Duty, but this is your, this is your option right here. And so that's why I think. That's where the violence stems from, that we try. That the only way to live is to be violent. The only way to survive in this economy for poor folk is to be gritty, to be hard, to be dirty, to steal, whatever you can steal, and that's the problem. If I am I will be a sophomore in the fall and I'm already twenty five grade in the fall. But one thing that they can't take back from me is what they taught me. They can they can teach you everything in the world but they they, they can't take it back. So for those scared of going to college because of money, fuck it. <laughs> Literally go there to learn. Because if, if, if it was that serious, we could hop on a plane and go across sea somewhere. They can't find you a bird. I would go take my knowledge somewhere else and become a millionaire or whatever with my education across sea.